Hey folks, so yeah, I am at the St. Vincent de Paul in Brantford. I uh, actually, my son uh, has a day camp here from nine in the morning till about one o'clock. And it's about an hour away from where we live, so it's not worth my while going back home just to drive back. So um, luckily, Brantford, Ontario, happens to have a bunch of thrift stores. And uh, yesterday was a good one. I actually got a really gorgeous Nina Simone record um early canadian pressing um so that kind of made my day yesterday i was really happy with that the value village like all value villages here uh was grossly overpriced uh they had a copy of the cults sonic temple that was slightly beat and they had i think it was 69.99 in the showcase yeah um but today i came to the saint vincent de paul and it was like a time machine because they had records for 50 cents. Remember the days of thrift stores having 50 cent records? Yeah, I haven't seen one until I came here. Um, so yeah, pretty pleased with some of the stuff I got. Scorpions, uh, Lonesome Crow, um, on the bomb label, 50 cents. Thought this Duran Duran was really kind of unusual. I hadn't didn't recognize the cover. And the reason why is because it is a Japanese EP pressing and it's got uh, sort of all the big hits on there. Hungry Like the Wolf and Rio. So yeah, that's kind of cool. And the rest of the stuff's kind of bread and butter, but you know, for 50 cents a record, this is the way it used to be. And so I just pretty much grabbed everything that I come across. Um, you can see the heart in there. The later Kansas record, you said. Crocus. Alan Parsons, Corey Hatch, another great Canadian. Xanadu, the soundtrack. Lionel, Phil Collins, Lionel Richie, Stones, David Wilcox, Kansas, a couple Boney M's, Burton Cummings, Bon Jovi, Europe, Yellow. I don't have to talk about them, you can see them. And yeah, so that's, you know, I think there's like 30 records there, if I recall, 50 cents a piece, 15 bucks. I mean, this one alone for me makes it worthwhile. And this Duran Duran's pretty interesting. They'll probably stay in my collection. Also picked up a couple of VHS tapes, Friday vs. Jason and uh, Friday the 13th part. Which one is that? Six, Jason Lives. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then this came out of their, um, those were only 50 cents as well. This came out of their uh, collectible section. It was eight bucks, but I'm a sucker for anything Expo 67 in uh, Montreal. It was a time when Canada was considered one of the hippest places in the world for a brief period of time. And uh, the architecture was used there and all kinds of different things. Um, it was also the last year the uh, Leafs won the cup. Um, so yeah, that just gives you a thing. That's just a really cool tray. On top of that so probably end up in the personal collection or i might switch out because i've got a couple of trays i might switch out some of the others because this one's just a little bit more what's the word chic so yeah that's pretty much it pretty quick little video but um pretty good uh pickup at the thrift stores today i know there's going to be people like you didn't go in there and think that i don't like filming inside the stores plus i don't know how to edit and um you know it's just I don't know. I'm Canadian. We're over polite. At some point, I'll probably get around to doing it for a few things, like maybe some of the big collectible shows. But I'm still just not super comfortable doing it at this point. Who knows? Things can change. Things do. Wow, you can see how messy my van is. <laughs> All right, y'all. Hope you're able to find some good stuff. Bye.